Hi, this is CK of CK Education, and today I want to talk about motivation. What motivates you to do certain things? And uh, if you saw the title of this video or the, you know, the thumbnail, uh, I said fear and guilt or love and joy. Now, you may not have thought those things were motivating factors in your life, but what I found in my life is, unfortunately, a lot of people do things out of fear and guilt. And here's a problem. When you are operating off of fear and guilt, I mean, in all things, in your spiritual walk, um, you're doing things because you think God's going to punish you. You're afraid something's going to happen to you. You're doing it out of guilt. If you don't do it, you feel guilty. People guilt, give you guilt and, uh, you know, and, and so they do certain things. People do charity out of guilt. They just feel guilty if they don't do it. Um, people treat uh, their relationships around them, people they love, out of guilt because, um, or fear that something might happen or they might say something or they might think something or, um, or you know, they feel guilty if they don't do it. Um, even, even with their money, they fear that uh, or they feel guilty about um, resting. I know people who feel guilty um, about taking a vacation. They, they just feel they have this, this misplaced, um, you know, thinking that they have to work all the time. And if they're not working, they fear that they're going to be lazy or that they are lazy people. I mean, there are all kinds of um, things that people do in their lives. And think about in your own life, what motivates you? Why do you do the things that you do? And if you're really honest with yourself, is it out of fear and guilt? Is it because you're afraid? And when I say afraid, I'm not, I don't mean like you're trembling in, in fear, physically afraid necessarily. I, I don't think that's usually the case. Do you do it because you fear what other people might say? You fear that certain people may not accept you. You, you, do, you have certain friends. You do certain things with your friends. Again, out of fear and guilt. You're afraid that they might not include you if you don't do the things that they tell you to do. Um, and I'm talking, I'm not just talking about teenagers here. I'm talking about adults, full grown adults as well. They do the same things. All right. So are you operating? Are you motivated? Do you do things in life? And think about every aspect of your life, the, your finances, your faith, your family, your friends, the fun that you have, the, the enjoyment, the entertainment, um, whatever the thing is, do you do it out of fear and guilt or are you, are you motivated uh, primarily by love and joy? All right, so let's talk about the love and joy for a second. So instead of operating out of fear and guilt, instead of doing religious activity or doing certain religious things because you fear God might punish you, you're, you're, you fear that something bad might happen to you, you're, you're afraid what certain religious people in your community might say about you, they might make you an outcast, Instead of operating on fear and guilt, what if it was truly out of love and joy? What if it was because, man, I know that God loves me so much and that love that I've experienced overflows in my heart. And so I just, the things that I do now are not because I fear him or I fear what other people might say. It's out of love. I've experienced that love and I have a joy. And so it's out of that joy. If I'm serving other people, it's out of love and joy, not fear and guilt. When you treat people in your life, your kids, your spouse, your parents, your whatever, and your friends, uh, you're not doing certain things because you, you feel guilty that if you don't spend enough time with your kids that you'll regret it. Or you know, It's not that kind of motivation. It is because you love them so much. You love being with them. You love being with them and you have the joy and you feel joy when you're with them, you know, and, and you know. A lot of people, even even spouses, right? Well, you know, I, I, we'll go out on a date, I guess. We'll go out and do something, I guess. I guess I should so that she doesn't say something to me or he doesn't complain about it to me. You know, either way, it goes both ways. And people do it again out of guilt, out of fear about what they might say or how they might react. Instead of, man, I love spending time with my husband or my wife or my kids or my parents. And, um, you know, so think of it. What if it were out of love and joy? What if instead of your job being, oh man, I feel I feel guilty if I if I don't do a good job because you know, well, they're paying me, so you know, I guess I got to stick with it for another fifteen years or sixteen years, whatever it is, um, or, or you know, out of fear that you're not going to have enough money, and so you always work really really hard. You never take a break because you're always in that fear. Maybe you grew up poor, and so maybe you grew up struggling financially, and so you have this fear. 
And, and so, but instead of that, what if it were, I really love my job, man, I love doing what I do and there's joy in what I do. I absolutely love, um, my job. And, and if it were out of love and joy, man, what kind of difference that would, that would make in your stress level, in your mental health, in your physical well being, in just your demeanor, in your energy level, in all things, you would accomplish more, you would have more opportunities and you would just be more motivated right? You'd be more positive. You'd be a better person to get along with. You would be a better person in every way if you were motivated by love and joy. Now, let me tell you, let me admit to you, I operated out of fear and guilt for many years, okay? Whether it was all the areas that, I, that I've named, I, I've operated out of fear and guilt primarily. And when I became really honest with myself, and only we know our own hearts, I mean, we can fake, fake out a lot of people, but we can't lie to ourselves. I mean, I guess you can, but it's, it's a dumb thing to do. So I was very honest with myself. I became very honest with myself. I became very honest with God. I'm not trying to fake him out. He already knows anyway. So I became very honest and I understood that he didn't want me to live out of fear and guilt. God wants me to live out of love and joy. So I started every part of my life. I started changing. I started adjusting. I tried... Uh, you know, and, uh, and and I and I try to live and be motivated with love and joy. But you know where that began with me? It began with really experiencing deeply the love of God in my heart, and that overflowed with joy. And then that overflowed to all the other areas of my life. I don't think I could have done that without experiencing that first. That's my experience. I'm not trying to sound religious or anything. If you've watched my videos, you know I'm not about religion, okay? But I am about having a real relationship uh, and a real uh, dependence-based, real trusting love relationship with the Creator. And I am all for that. And so I, I shamelessly uh, tout that because I, that was, that's been my true experience. And so, but it began there and then and it spread to other areas of my life. So I hope that you will take a real honest assessment of your own heart, your own motivations and all the things that you're doing. Are you doing, uh, doing it out of fear and guilt or are you operating out of love and joy? And let me tell you, my friend, operating out of love and joy is way better. It's way better. Let me say it, it's way better. Okay. So I hope that you find that. I so do hope that you find that. Because if you do, you'll just be a happier person. And every part of your life, it'll be better. So I hope you take that to heart. Now, if you thought that this video was helpful to you, please share it with other people um, so that they can be helped as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, and I hope you watch over the... I have about 130 some videos on my channel. And I upload a new video every single day um, in, in the hopes that it will help you. So I hope you watch them. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video up to this point. And until my next video, please stay well.